Believe on him. And the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. And one of them, named Caiaphas, being the high priest that same year, said unto them, Ye know nothing at all, nor consider that it is expedient for us that one man should die for the people, and that the whole nation perish not. We're talking about Jesus. Yep. Verse 51. And this spake he not of himself, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus should die for that nation. Well, you say, well, that's just for Israel then. Jewish people. Verse 52. And not for that nation only, but that also he should gather together in one. Say in one. In one. In one, the children of God that were scattered abroad. Here's the purpose of God. One man died on behalf of all men. So that he could gather together in one all the children, the children of God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. While you're in John, look over in chapter 17, the prayer of Jesus prayed. This is the real Lord's prayer here, by the way. It's a wonderful thing that we can get a window in to see what Jesus prayed. Not just that we knew he went and prayed, but that we could see what he said. I believe the, I believe the Father answers Jesus' prayer. What do you think? Amen. Amen. Every time. I believe the Father answers our prayer. Amen. Every time. Every time. Not because of my goodness, not because of my abilities, not because of my intelligence, not because of my money or good looks or bad looks or whatever it may be, but because I am in Him. Amen. And in Him I receive all the benefits. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Come on. Praise the Lord, Willie. Praise the Lord. I like that. On your wall, my Cheryl, man, that's pretty good. We need to make a big blow up of it. Hold the back. Praise the Lord. John 17, verse 9. Jesus says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world... This is covenant talk. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. Amen. That's us, by the way. Right. And all mine are thine, and thine are mine. Now look at this. And I am glorified in them. What a position you hold. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. The religious world you know, teaches that we can't do these things. But God's teaching says you can bring glory to God Amen. because He can flow through you with the miraculous. Amen. Oh, glory. Verse 11, And now I am no more in the world but these are in the world. Mm -hmm. In other words, he's gone on, yes. fulfilled the covenant, mm -hmm. and now we are here yes. in his place. Yes. And I come to thee, Holy Father, <coughs> keep, say keep. Yes. Who is to keep here? The Father, right? Father. Asking Father to yes. keep. Yes. Who? Keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me. Us. Yes. We're not the keeper. No. He keeps. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. That they may be one right. as we are. Hallelujah. Again, that we might be one in him. Yes. How? Father's going to keep us. Glory to God. 
Verse 12. While I was with them in the world, guess what? I kept them in your name. Jesus said. You thought you were doing it. You thought you had to do it. you got to readjust your thinking. To love a relationship because of what he did. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. I want you to read it in your Bible, too. I don't want you to think I'm preaching heresy up here today. Praise the Lord. Don't run me out on the stick. Still love you. Praise the Lord. Verse 12, Jesus speaking, while I was with them in the world, I kept them. I kept them in thy name. Who's the keeper? God is the keeper. Father God, Jesus the Christ, Holy Ghost, He kept the covenant for us and He keeps us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. When I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gave me, I have kept. And none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world. I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, And the world has hated them. Yeah. Because they are not of the world. Yeah. Even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world. But that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. Yeah. Now I don't need to be redundant, but I'm just saying what he said. Again, he said, keep, God keep. The yeah. prayer was, God keep you from evil right. in this world. Amen. In this world, there is problem. There is evil. But God is keeping us from that evil because we are in covenant. Amen. Glory. In him. Hallelujah. I'm not keeping the covenant. I'm in covenant. Loving him that kept it for me. Glory, glory, glory. Verse 16. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them. That means set them apart from the world system. Through thy truth. Thy word is truth. So we can say, sanctify them through your word, mm -hmm. the word of God. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. The same commission Jesus have you had, as far as being sent to the lost. You have a ministry of reconciliation. Yeah. You don't have a ministry of condemnation. No. You have a ministry of reconciliation. Verse 19, and for their sake... I sanctify myself that they also might 